At the very beginning of this course, I introduced the idea of running Selenium standalone as an NPM script. Since then, WebDriver IO has released their own Selenium standalone service, which makes it even easier to run Selenium on your local machine. I want to take a moment to quickly show off this service and show you how you can use it. The first thing you'll need to do is install the npm package. To do that, you'll use the npm install command and paste it into your command line and run the script. With the service now installed, we can enable it inside of the configuration file. Search for the services section, uncomment it, and then add Selenium standalone as the service. Now when you run your test, you don't have to run a separate Selenium server locally. WebDriver IO will automatically spin one up for you at the beginning of each test and then spin it back down at the end. You can check to see if you have Selenium running locally already by going to your local host, port 4444. This is the Selenium front end that will show to help you create debug sessions. You really don't use this page, but it's a great way to see if Selenium is running locally. I'm gonna stop the Selenium server that I have running and then refresh the page to show that it's no longer there. Now I'm gonna go into my test and run it and you'll see that it runs just fine. With that, I can go back into my package.json file and delete my Celser script since I don't need it anymore. That's really all there is to using this service. It just makes it one step easier to have a Selenium server running locally. For the rest of the course, I'm actually going to be using this. You're probably not gonna notice a difference because I'm not starting and stopping the server on my own um, in the videos but I did want to mention it because it's a pretty neat little tool and makes things just even easier to get going. And that's it.